tips. Max! Hi friends, in this video we are going to see how to find the square root for a non-perfect square numbers. So we are not going to use a long division method, we are going to follow a new method, okay? Using this method, you can find the approximate value for the square root of non-perfect square numbers. So whenever accurate value is not necessary for you, you can use this method to find the square root. The method what we are going to see today is a very easy method. Like long division method, this method is not a lengthy process. We can find the square root within few seconds. So if we solve two or three exams, you may come to know how easy this method is. So first let us find the square root for 12. It's a non-perfect square number. The first step what we are supposed to do is we have to find the perfect square number nearer to 12. So if it comes to 12, there are two perfect square numbers nearer to 12, right? So they are 9 and 16. We can start the problem by taking one of these numbers. So let us take the perfect square number nearer to 12 is 9. This is the first step. Next, we have to rewrite the number 12 as 9 plus 3. Even if we write like this, the value will not change because 9 plus 3 is equal to 12. So the next step, we have to take the square root of 9. So the square root of 9 is 3. Let us write. So the remaining we have to write as it is plus 3 divided by the denominator should be the double of the value what we have found now. That is the double of 3. So the double of 3 is 6. So that's it. These are the steps you have to remember. The remaining part is only the calculation. So if we do the calculation, we will get 3 divided by 6 is equal to 1 by 2. That is equal to 0 0.5. So if we add 3 plus 0 0.5, we will get 3.5. So the approximate square root value of 12 is equal to 3.5. So you may even check in the calculator. The answer will be definitely same. So if you use long division method to calculate the square root of 12, it will take long time because we know long division method is always a lengthy process. But once you got practice with this method and you have thorough knowledge in this method, you can find the square root for non-perfect square numbers within few seconds. So now we have solved the square root of 12 by taking the perfect square number nearer to 12 as 9. Now let us solve the same problem by taking the perfect square number nearer to 12 as 16. The same method only we are going to follow. Just see the difference. So now we can rewrite the square root of 12 is equal to square root of 16 minus 4. Because if we rewrite 16 minus 4 only we will get 12. So the value will not change. So in the next step we are supposed to find the square root of 16. So the square root of 16 is 4. Then we have to write the remaining number as it is minus 4 divided by the denominator should be the double of the value which we found now. That is double of 4 that is equal to 8. That's all. Only calculation is remaining. The calculation is also very easy. So let us do the calculation. That is equal to 4 minus 4 divided by 8 is equal to 1 by 2 that is equal to 0 0.5. So the approximate square root value of 12 is equal to 3.5. So it's very clear. We can find the square root of 12 by taking the perfect square number nearer to 12 as either 9 or 16. So if we take 9, the middle expression will be plus. If we take 16, the middle expression will be minus. So you can solve the square root by taking either one of these perfect square numbers, whichever is convenient for you. So let us solve another example. We shall find the square root of 45. So the first step what we are supposed to do is, we are supposed to find the perfect square number nearer to 45. So the perfect square number nearer to 45 is 49, right? Because 7 square is equal to 49. Next, let us rewrite 45 as 49 minus 4. So the third step, we have to find the square root of 49. Square root of 49 is 7. So the remaining we have to write as it is minus 4 divided by double of the value which we found now. That is double of 7 that is 14. So rest we are having only calculation. So the calculation part is very easy. 7 minus 4 divided by 14 is equal to 0 0.29. That is, is equal to 6.71. So the approximate square root value of 45 is equal to 6.71. It's very easy. So let us solve another problem also. So we will get clear idea. So now let us find the square root of 235. First perfect square number nearer to 235 is we know 225. Because 15 square is equal to 225. Now let us rewrite square root of 235 is equal to square root of 225 plus 10. So the next we are supposed to find the square root of 225. Since it's a perfect square it's very easy. So square root of 225 is 15 plus 10 divided by double of the value which we found now that is double of 15 that is equal to 30. 
so the next we shall write 15 plus 10 divided by 30 is equal to 1 by 3 that is, is equal to 0 0.33 so if we add the approximate square root value of 235 is equal to 15.33 so so far we have find the square root for non-perfect square numbers having two or three digit now let us find the square root for non-perfect square numbers having four or five digit the method is same with a little twist so let us see an example for a four digit number so here is a number 3952 if you want to use the method what we have studied now first we are supposed to find a perfect square number nearer to 3952 but if you want to find that number it's quite difficult we can find but it will take a lot of time so we shall rewrite this number 3952 as 39.52 into 100 even if we write like this the value will not change because 39.52 into 100 is equal to 3952 so in the next step let us remove the root of 100 and we shall simply write as 10 because we know root 100 is equal to 10 so if we rewrite we will get root of 39.52 into 10 so now let us forget the big number 3952 we are supposed to find the square root of only 39.52 now we can follow the same process what we have studied. First up we are supposed to find the square number nearer to 39.52. If we take the perfect square number nearer to 39. So it is 36. So we shall rewrite as 39.52 is equal to root of 36 plus 3.52. Okay first step is over. In the next step we are supposed to find the square root of 36 that is 6 plus 3.52 divided by the denominator should be the double of 6 that is 2 into 6 that is equal to 12 so if we do the calculation we will get 6 plus 3.52 divided by 12 is equal to 0.29 that is equal to 6.29 so 6.29 is the square root of 39.52 only if you want to find the square root of 3952 we are supposed to multiply 6.29 with 10 because that is the first modification we have done so if we multiply we will get 62.9 so the approximate square root value of 3952 is equal to 62.9. So let it be a 4 digit number or 5 digit number. We shall use the same method with a little bit modification. So finally let us see one example. So let us find the square root of 65623. Since it is a 5 digit number we shall rewrite the number as 656.23 into 100. So in the next step let us remove the square root for 100. So if we remove we will get root of 656.23 into 10. So now let us forget the 5 digit number. Now we are supposed to find the square root for 656.23. For that we want to find the perfect square number nearer to 656. So the perfect square number nearer to 656 625 because 25 square is equal to 625 so let us rewrite the number 656.23 as 625 plus 31.23 so in next step we are supposed to find the square root for 625 we know the square root for 625 is 25 so let us write the remaining number as it is plus 31.23 divided by double of 25 so if you double the number 25 we will get 50 so if you simplify this we will get 25 plus 31.23 divided by 50 is equal to 0 0.62 that is equal to 25.62 so the square root for 656.23 is equal to 25.62 so if you want to find the square root for 65623 we are supposed to multiply the number 25.62 with 10 so if we multiply we will get 256.2 so the approximate square root value for 65623 is 256.2 I think friends you might have understood this method very clearly if you have any doubt you may ask me in the comment section since the method are new to you it seems to be confused for the first time if you sit so watch the video again and try to solve two or more problems you will definitely get a clear idea if you like this video press the like button and share to your friends subscribe our channel tricky tips max and if you want to receive notifications whenever I am posting the video, press the bell icon. Thank you.